warm welcome. This is January 2020's Psychic Global Predictions using predominantly the side deck of cards which you see here and also some of the traditional tarot. So I will start shuffling in a minute and we will see what January 2020 has in store for us. This is the beginning of a brand new decade. It's going to be a fast paced, very different decade than the past 10 years we have been through. We are moving into this decade with many heavily influenced planetary alignments that indicate massive change at many different levels. We're on the tipping point in terms of climate change issues and how we see the world or the earth going forward. So with that in mind, let's start the shuffling for January 2020. Okay, so we've had a couple of cards come out. We will just stick with those two from this deck. That is the Ten of Swords and the Page of Swords. Swords are all about communication. So communication might be a forefront runner as we move into 2020. There might be much need for international communication, communication in written or verbal form, communication between countries, communication about where we are headed, what the needs of the planet and the people are. It's interesting that we have a 10 which is like the final epoch, that's, which is exactly what has happened as we've moved out of the 2019s and into the new decade. This is the beginning, this is the new seeds or new ideas coming. These can be quite brilliant ideas coming forth and they can come through quite quickly. They can be ideas that were unprecedented or unresolved previously or weren't grounded. So they have a lot of energy around them. This could be quite quick movement when this is considered. This one here, the Ten of Swords, is a feeling of deflation, a feeling of loss, a feeling of being stabbed in the back. It's not the nicest way to think of going out of 2019, but it does indicate a new dawn. That's what the representation of this card is. Some body or something or some country or some particular part of us is being ebbed away as we move into this new realm, this new thought or paradigm or energy or communication or ideas. It feels as though it had to be left behind and it's been quite painful and it was causing pain. There could also be indicative of somebody who has been stabbed in the back quite literally. Uh, it could be political realm we are talking about in terms of Brexit having happened in December on the 10th when the UK go to vote. Uh, so one of those people might have been stabbed in the back and left lying flat on their uh, stomachs. So it could be a political party that falls by the wayside and it could be unexpected too. Although in the December reading, there seemed to be uh, messages coming through that perhaps that Boris Johnson might take it out. Of course, it won't just be uh, the UK. We have Hong Kong. We have China on the go. We also have moves coming through with uh, Trump and impeachment. And we also have him gearing up for his elections in 2020 if he's still standing. So let's see for January 2020 where the Psy cards are directing us through collective conscious energies. Oh, the beast. And the beast often represents a political figure who is a beast. And we can think of a few around the planet. There's a few in the Middle East. There's a few in the communist countries. Um, some people say Trump is a beast. Other people think he is a god. So it's hard to sort of figure that one out. The stars reversed and the birth reversed.
With these reversals coming out, it seems a bit strange for the beginning of 2020. It seems as if we are strained, as if there is something arduous or not flowing right or hasn't quite gone right. Especially with that beast in their play. What else is here for 2020 for January as we move into the new decade? The voyage, the skills, the moon, and peace. Hmm. Okay, so on December the 26th, we had a fairly powerful eclipse that will be in part shaping the next few months forward, which of course is the brand new beginning of 2020. And that might be why the stars is reversed. It could be that what went on in the stars was a little bit agitated or has created some sort of agitation. We've also got the moon in here and this piece often represents the sun because we see these sun-like rays coming down shining on this Mandela. So there's something to do with the heavens or the planets or the lineups or the sun and the moon, maybe the eclipse that happened. Maybe there's a reversal on something we've thought about previously with ideas in space or information we've had about space or planets that we thought we had understood or learned. So that could mean that there is a change in our opinion coming. So it could be something to do with our moon or Mars or one of the other planets or asteroids or comets that come through our space. We might find out some information that we go backwards on and we reverse our thinking and we say, oh, actually this is not right. I'm thinking it might have something to do with the moon. It might even be that people or co companies who were wanting to get ready to land on the moon or put people on the moon, it's held back for some reason or they change their mind or something about the moon is altered or our understanding of it or the knowledge of it. Maybe the water we found on the moon, there's more of it or less of it or maybe it, it has a more interesting conjecture in terms of us or how we interact with it. There's quite a lot of water in this reading and um, there's water here, here and here. So some of it's coming down from above or, or information from above, which is again relating to the skies or information about comets. Maybe we get another big interstellar comet coming through that gives us information. Maybe we find more intergalactic space travelers coming through our space and we can assess them or we gain information about them. Coming back to the beast, it often represents agents of terror and political terror quite often. So we could think of political leaders such as some from the Middle East or China or North Korea or Russia. And so they could be on the move. There could be something they do in January that is um, agitative or it creates movement or is seen as unrest one way or another. The other thing that the beast can represent is heat, hot, fires can also represent volcanic activity or some sort of underground or secret movement. The beast could also represent some of the tensions or feelings like Jeffrey Epstein created the pedophilia ring, the underground hidden beast, the bestiality that's going on on the planet that might be surfacing or might be dug up one way or another, finding out more information about them. We've already broached what the stars mean. It's very interesting that it's upside down. I've never seen that happen before. So there's a possibility that this is just something going on in the heavens or in the timing of life that we don't fully understand. There's a new pattern or a new direction that is taking shape. It's out of our hands. The answer is in the stars. And I think the December reading had a little bit of that going on with the puzzle card that turned up. The birth card reversed could mean not the birth of something or an unexpected birth or the birth of it not going the way we want. And we've seen over here there is new energy coming in, there is new communication and it could be in a direction that we haven't expected or anticipated. So 
there's things are a bit topsy-turvy in the beginning of the year and this could be the foundation for quite a lot as we move forward. The Voyage card represents oftentimes boats, it also represents the oceans, so something going on with our oceans. Could it be indicative of climate change such as warming oceans? Oceans on the move, sometimes through earthquakes, so this can create the thought of a tsunami possibility. It can also be around the Tropic of Cancer or Capricorn, sometimes when this card comes out, so it could be quake related. It can also be vessel related, so movement of ships, trafficking of uh, goods through the earth one way or another. There may be some problems up through the canals up in the Middle East or shipping, moving of oil, moving of goods. There could be something along those lines as well. Now, the, interestingly enough, this card often to me represents like a sun because it looks like a sun with rays shining out. Now then we got this card over here that also looks like a sun hidden with rays shining out. So the sun is being mentioned twice and at the moment the main thing we've got is that the planet is warming. We're finding it hotter. So we could still experience unusual heat or unusual temperatures somewhere around the globe. Sometimes this card also represents way up in the older part of civilization and I'm thinking through the Middle East or up around those areas up through Pakistan, Afghanistan. This can sometimes mean quakes up there or fighting or something along those lines as well. So there could be some sort of energy there. The peace card usually depicts the very opposite. It depicts lack of peace, meaning fighting, um, just tensions around the planet. There's also the Mandela in the background, which sometimes represents the Mandela syndrome, meaning time issues, anomalies. So something going on here at the beginning of the year with time, or timing is of an issue or some sort of relevance about getting things sorted out. We come to the skills and it really does represent fighting and it represents hand-to-hand -hand combat. So there may be an increase of fighting or troops sent somewhere on the ground and there is an increase of fighting. And it could be linked with this beast card. He, there might be a political leader that ensues or starts up more fighting, hand-to-hand -hand combat. It could be involved in this part of the globe as well. This can also mean things coming down to earth, falling from the stars. So since the stars is upside down above it, there can be something falling out of the stars and down to ground. Uh, it oftentimes could be something like meteorites or an asteroid or an impact of some type. It could be satellite issues. It could be uh, rocket issues. It could be information about the technology we've been using in space and problems around that. The moon card I've talked about briefly, it has to do with the eclipse that has just been. So there's something that either prompts change or discourse or disharmony once the eclipse is taking place. We're also looking at the seas, the oceans, the water, the animals in the seas, mass die-offs of animals, understanding our oceans a little bit more, maybe the water on the moon maybe something to do with the moon. It's also connected to the stars card on an angle. So again, this is information about our space around us and technology possibly, or understanding of things to do with the moon. Interesting, oh, the birth card, yeah, we've, it's a difficult one to understand given it's upside down. It could mean something that was in the process of being formed, like a new idea, new decision, new direction, is put asunder. Uh, and again, it could be related to the fact that it's in the stars or in the heavens. It could be that it's also associated with a lack of peace. So there's some kind of rupture, there's some kind of uh, agitation or uprising that is associated with this thing that was in the birth of its life and it's been turned upside down and for some reason I just keep thinking about the Brexit syndrome 
it doesn't have to be just that. Of course, Hong Kong could be in this, the China, China and Hong Kong issue culminating together. Uh, this could also be to do with politics in the USA. But something that was trying to be born or trying to be a new direction taken, which over here we saw this great fiery ideas and quickness of ideas and quick events taking place, it's turned asunder, turned upside down. I wonder what that will be. It'll be interesting to see as we march into 2020. Anyhow, we have got some combustible cards and having two of them reversed is probably not ideal in many ways. So we'll have to wait and see what these cards are totally referring to. But yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on the matter and how you feel that they are playing out and what you feel they could mean as well. So thanks for joining these intuitive predictions, collective conscious predictions and seeing how the future is taking shape. So I wish you all the very best as we march into these very quick paced, quick changing times of the new decade of the 20s. Take care everyone, have a great New Year's Eve. Namaste.